coming up on Coronation Street next week. Carla gets a shock when she returns to the factory and finds the place completely ransacked, clearly having been the target of a break-in. While she is still assessing the damage, she is suddenly hit over the head from behind, leaving her unconscious. Mason's brother Matty will later be questioned at the police station in connection with Carla's attack. However, Alia, who has recently returned to the show, will serve as his defence attorney and co-signs his alibi for the night, proving he couldn't have done it. But this still leaves the question, who broke into the factory and attacked Carla, and what was their motive? Leanne holds a memorial for her son Oliver, who passed away four years ago. During the ceremony, she suggests planting a rosebush next to Oliver's tree in memory of Rose, Toya's stillborn baby who died many years ago. This kind gesture makes Toya feel guilty about secretly having a relationship with Nick behind Leanne's back. However, it looks like their secret romance is about to be exposed, when Leanne and Sam discover a holiday booking that Nick and Toya have planned on the bistro laptop. I wonder if Leanne will confront them about this. Later in the week, the sisters will reunite alongside Chesney at the bistro over their shared grief after hearing the news that Les Battersby has died. But things get hostile between the sisters when Leanne learns that Toya knew about Les's passing before breaking the news to her. It seems the trust is slowly dwindling between them. Chesney gets annoyed when a van steals his parking space in the Freshco's car park, and as an act of revenge, he decides to park right behind the van, blocking it in. However, this act of revenge seems to backfire, as Chesney later finds his car vandalised with scratches. To make matters worse, the same van nearly knocks him over while speeding past in the middle of the street. It seems Chesney might have just made himself a new enemy. Also on Coronation Street next week, Shona's son Clayton remains in hospital under police supervision. Despite being denied permission to visit him, Shona barges into the hospital room, desperate to see her son. But will Clayton agree to talk to his mum, or will Shona end up being escorted out by the guard? 